Um, my name is Mike Gesson D. Reed, known as a professional fighter. Um, uh, Saturday, March 18th, will be my third, third, pro, uh, third pro fight. Hopefully it's uh, three and over, three knockouts, three first round knockouts. Um, let's see. I was a 2011 national national <laughs> Golden Glove champion. Um, I was a 2011 Olympic trials participant. I missed the Olympic uh, Olympic team by one point, so I've uh, pretty much accomplished everything in the amateur system. Now I'm just trying to accomplish everything in the professional oh, yeah. ranking. Okay, so uh, can you tell the fans out there how was your preparation for this fight coming into this fight? The preparation for this fight, um, a lot of strength work. Every uh, Every, every pro camp, I'm just trying to get a last strong because I know in the pro game you have to be strong. So I'm trying to get a last strong, uh, maintain my speed because anybody that sees me fight knows I have excellent hand speed. Maintain my speed, but just build on power. Okay, and uh, so uh, as you progress in your pro fight, what are you gonna do? What strategy are you gonna take as a boxer to ensure that after boxing you have a very, you still maintain the lifestyle you live, or it's going to be better? What do you think you're gonna do to make sure that you have a better life in boxing after well, the end of boxing? Well, actually, um, one of the major things you have to do is to uh, surround yourself with a supportive team that you actually trust, not just because they uh, put money in your pocket, but you actually have the uh, best interest in you, and that's what I'm doing right now with my father as my trainer. And he's actually managing me right now. So my father is my trainer and my manager. We just uh, have a great support system and we trust everybody in our team. Uh, so, uh, can, can you tell the public out there, uh, just put them into a mind of a boxer. If, if somebody wanted to know what really is a boxer, what makes a boxer tick, can you just put the public and the fans uh, into that mindset of a boxer? Well, it has to be a lifestyle. You can't halfway box one foot in, one foot out. Um, boxing is a lifestyle. Everything you just it has to be a lifestyle. Um, some people work in box. Um, I'm actually working in boxing now, and it's taking up a lot of time to try to work in box. So, in the long, in, well, in the in the near future, I want to quit my job and just box 100% um, of the time because that's what's needed to become a world champion. Um, just dedication to your craft. Okay, so. Uh you, you and Dusty are some of the young top prospects in the region. Uh, how do you think that you're going to carry the DC boxing uh, uh, reputation and how are you going to represent it as you move forward? Um, well, just coming up through the amateur ranks, Dusty came up uh, with me also. We have had a lot of, um, we got a lot of reputation as being a good, a good group of fighters. Um, when you knew you were fighting a DC fighter or a Maryland DC fighter. You um, knew you was having a good fight, so you want to just keep that, keep that same reputation throughout the pros. I'm um, just building our records out. Okay, and, and, and lastly, uh, you are a very good fighter, and uh, I also care much about the health and safety of boxers. You as a boxer, what initiatives do you take to ensure that? As much as you love this sport, I'm also a boxer myself. Uh, it's also very dangerous long term. What are you doing to ensure that you do your craft, you make enough money, you have a good life, but also your health stays intact? Well, um, we're going to school for accountants, so with that being said, I can manage my money a lot, um, a lot better than your average boxer. And with me managing my money a lot uh, better, um, I'll be able to get out of the sport a lot sooner. Um, in the sport, you have a lot of fighters Staying in the sport past their prime, and when you stay in the sport past your prime, you get hurt, and that's something I'm not trying to do. So I'm trying to get out as soon as possible, um, make enough money, get out of the sport as soon as possible. That's one of the things that I'm doing to ensure that I, I remain safe. And, uh, and, and lastly, uh, probably like uh, a year from now. Which boxer out there, assuming the boxer is still around, would you love to fight and why? A year from now? Um, I'm really not sure. I'm really not, I really don't have anyone in particular that I say I would say I would, I would actually like to fight. Um, I would like to spar with, with pretty much all of the top fighters at 130, between 130 and 147. I would like to actually spar with them. Um, I know there's a couple of pro prospects uh, that I probably will be fighting. Um, just don't know when, but in the next year or so, I'm definitely look to uh, put an imprint in the boxing game. Okay, thank you, Mike, and good luck on Saturday. Right, no problem. Thank Thanks, you. man.